So today is a ski day. So instead of boards, I'm going to go with my skis and I need to wax them for the first time ever. Forgot my ski suit. That would have been bad. It is vintage from um, the 80s. I got it off Poshmark. It's marker. Yeah, marker. So I love it. I am driving up to Whitetail Resort today in Pennsylvania. So it's a couple hours from DC. Actually, it's only an hour and a half, so it's not bad. Um, so I'm just gonna get a couple hours of skiing in, or however long I last. Whichever is shorter. Last time I only lasted a couple hours. I haven't been to Whitetail in um, probably five or six years. I think I went there once when I first moved to Maryland, but it's been a while. Usually my friends and I go to Liberty, but I've been skiing solo this year um, since I got a pass. So I just go up whenever I want. Warm day today, 56 degrees, but the temperature up at Whitetail is 44 degrees. That's like six degrees. Okay, 44 minus 30 is and then divided by two, or divided in half is seven degrees. So yeah, like six or seven degrees Celsius. Warm day. So I waxed my skis this morning. I'm gonna try them out one last time. They're pretty old. They're from, I got them Christmas 1999. Never thought I needed newer skis because I don't ski that often, or at the time I was. I ski maybe once or twice a year normally, and my skis are old. They've got deep scratches in them, so. I'm looking at getting newer used ones at, um, there's a sports store called Play It Again Sports. So I'm gonna check them and see if they have any skis that'll be my size. If not, I've been looking at a couple on Facebook Marketplace. I'm also stopping at Wetsuit Warehouse, which is about half an hour away from Whitetail. I haven't been there in seven, almost eight years. I'm gonna take a look at um, a different wetsuit for winter because mine is like, not enough anymore and I think I need to go up a size honestly. So I'm gonna look at getting a zipperless, uh, just a full full suit and like with a hood attached and everything. And I'm also getting thicker booties, seven mil booties, which I talked about in my last surfing video. So my feet were just too cold the last time because I have three mil booties for some reason. Looking forward to some skiing.
even after the first run, so I, I was just like, oh my gosh, am I out of shape? But uh, the lady was saying with the slushy snow, which it was pretty slushy, um, that it's like all out harder to turn in, which makes sense because it's heavier snow. And you just get worn out really quickly, which <laughs> when I was growing up in Washington State, when we would go skiing, the snow was mostly powdery. There'd be some ice, but um, yeah, I definitely prefer slushy snow to ice. But that was a lot of fun. I don't think I'm gonna go back ever to Liberty Mountain or to, um, what's the other one, Round Top, which is the one I went to last time. Um, Round Top was cool, but it was just like one or two runs. This thing was like, I felt like it I was getting challenged there, which is rare on the East Coast because, you know, it's just piddly little ski hills and stuff over here. So that was a lot of fun. It's only an hour and a half away versus like two, two and a half hours for the other ski areas. And my pass is good at all of these ski areas. So yeah, great ski hill. Um, I went down what I thought was the intermediate run um, to warm up for the first run. And it actually ended up being expert on one of the, one of the runs, I guess the terrain park. So uh, they had a half pipe, but it didn't have enough snow in it to go on. So that was disappointing, but you know, you really can't go on the half pipe on the East Coast. There's just, just never enough snow. Headed to Wetsuit Warehouse, which apparently closes at five. And so I'm gonna have half an hour to try on wetsuits and uh, find booties, but make it happen. I don't know what time Played Again Sports closes. I would, I just assumed it wouldn't close at five because that's super early, like, but it's beautiful. I'm out here in like the farmland and stuff and just going down a winding road, which people are like tailgating and stuff. I'm going over the speed limit, so we're just jerks. <laughs> Definitely prefer skiing to surfing, love surfing, but it's a lot less frustrating to go skiing because you just have to stuff your gear in the car and, you know, throw on your snowsuit or whatever, or snow pants, and I don't have to put on racks and then strap the surfboard down and, like, peel the wetsuit on and off, and I'm actually successful at skiing. I'm good at skiing versus surfing. It's like if I catch one wave, I'm happy. <laughs> so, <sighs> hopefully, I can go back next week. You have proved that you fight well. Now you can join us. Keep cutting. Wake up. Check your phone. Ignore the alarm. You're still alone. Wake up. Rewind the night. Who are you? But also, kind of, who am I? Wake up, check your phone, tweet party for the apocalypse, don't forget to RSVP. Think about how the polar bears are running out of ice. But hey, this photo got a lot of likes. Get down, but don't feel down. This is why we can't have nice things, it's like a clean car or world peace. So the sleep from your eyes, and supersize your vibe. Wake up, check your phone, wake up, check your phone. Smoke till you feel numb. Check your phone, check your phone. Check, check, bow, bow. check, check, bow, bow. Dial the tone. the American dream, cherry coke in the bathroom of a club, influence you, influence me, under the influence of my own anxiety, check your phone, get some new clothes, not sure where to begin, still stuck in my own skin, Dennis Robin, 96, 97, even 99, what a time to be alive, start a podcast, become a DJ, try and fill the void inside, I'd be lying if I didn't say that sounds nice, wake up, check your phone, but the battery's died, wake up, check your phone, brush your teeth, count your calories, single use plastic, how tragic, Fake friends, real problems. Check your phone, but you're still alone. But you're still alone. Wake up. Bees are dying off. It's kind of sad. Oh, my bad. Can I have a plus one? Look directly in the sun. Get on the dance floor. Put your hands in the air. 24-7. Loneliness. Live stream. No regrets. Check, check your phone. So I just finished up at Wetsuit Warehouse. So I tried on two wetsuits that were full suits. But they had my size. One was a Billabong Synergy, which is the one that I own that I bought like seven, eight years ago from the same place. But the one I tried on has a hood attached, which is, I guess, better for um, cold water. I just have a really hard time getting into the wetsuits where like it's a, a chest zip instead of a back zip because I have wide hips and it's just a lot harder to get for me to get into them. But I managed to, I got into the Billabong fairly easy. Liked it, 
but it didn't have the little bill on the cap on the hood. So it doesn't block out the sun as well. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try on the XL because it had a little little bill cap thing. Um, or bill, yeah, on the hood. And I really wanted it to work. And oh my gosh, I felt so claustrophobic in that thing. I barely got it off. I almost had to call for help from the people working there. Um, oh yeah, and when I went in there, the, one of the employees was walking out. I think she was a manager. And she's like, oh, are you going into the warehouse? And I was like, yep. And she was like, oh, we close at 4.30. It was like 4.20 at the time. And I was like, uh, Google Maps at 5. And she's like, here, I'll let you in. It's fine. All right, she let me in. They were very nice, very willing to help me. So that was good. So I, yeah, I tried on those wetsuits. Then I tried on boots. And I went with a size 8 in men's um, for some. Yeah, I bought Rip Curl. I didn't want to, but that was like all they had. And they've gone to so much effort to like find me these boots or run through. Because I tried on a size 7 in women's and it was like pulling on the skin of my big toe. <laughs> so I bought Rip Curl. I didn't want to because what of what they did to Atlanta Blanchard. One of my favorite YouTube surfers, so, or surfer girls. Ended up going with the Rip Curl because it was slim pickings <laughs> for boots. And um, I went a size up from the size I tried on for the Billabong Synergy wetsuit. Um, and I'm just, I, I was like, I didn't want to hold them up any longer. I was just like, I'm not going to try it on, but do you have it in the size? And I just bought it. A little bit more expensive than I wanted. It was like $350 for all of this. But I'm going to sell my old wetsuit. I, it's just getting to the point where I can't function in the water with the old wetsuit. And I was reading surf girl magazine which i just subscribed to i fixed so i found so many good tips about um cold, wa cold water surfing from them because they're based in cornwall england my favorite cold water surfer is erica white i'll put her youtube right here and link down she lives in cornwall england it's in the um south western corner of england and she surfs a lot of cold, wa cold water surfing or, yeah from the, from the winter of course so i love watching her because it's it's more it's more realistic, you know. She's not anywhere tropical or anything like Tina Cullen or Alana Blanchard, Bethany Hamilton. So it's more realistic for me because I go in mostly cold water. Can't wait to uh, try out the winter. I think I'm gonna do at least one more surf session this winter because the winter, like the for the five four, uh, we wear them out here on the East Coast until May. I've got two two and a half more months of that and I'm headed to play it against sports now they're open till eight yeah, it was kind of weird that wetsuit warehouse closed so early but it was really nice of them to like keep it open for me and give me sizes and stuff and I'll, I felt really bad I was trying to hurry and then I'm like oh my gosh the wetsuits are like for the five for ones that are that thick for five four they're s like putting on seal skin they're so difficult you have to like roll them on and it takes me like five to ten minutes to get my there's a dead raccoon on the side of the road. There's so many dead raccoons this time of year. I've never seen so many dead raccoons. Where's the red fern grows when you need it? So that was disappointing. They had no ski stuff. I was in there for less than a minute. Um, their website said they had ski stuff. So I am just going to message the person that was selling skis on Facebook Marketplace. Let's see if I can come and take a look at it. So I just looked at Facebook and <laughs> the skis that I had saved. There are these really nice skis. My dad, I had sent them to my dad, a picture of them, and he was like, yeah, those should work um, for you. No scratches. They were um, just at the height limit for me. And so I went to go message the guy and the posting's gone. So he either sold them or he just took, took it down. That's disappointing. I kind of scrolled through some skis and I didn't see any that I liked. So I guess I'll just have to Google um, some used ski stores around here. 